Good morning and please be seated. Acting Premier, Leader of the Opposition, President of the Senate, Attorney General, Members of the Supreme Court and Magistracy, Director of Public Prosecutions, Acting Commissioner of Police, Cabinet Secretary, former Chief Justice, distinguished members of the Bar, friends and family. I'm very pleased to welcome you to Government House this morning. It's my privilege to be formally appointing Mr Narinder Hargan as Chief Justice of the Supreme Court of Bermuda in accordance with Section 73.3 of the Constitution. I am confident that Mr Hargan will carry out his responsibilities dutifully and well helping to maintain this island's standing as a legal jurisdiction of the highest order. In a moment, I will invite Mr Hargan to swear the oath of allegiance and the oath for the due execution of his office, after which we will sign the relevant documents. I will then invite Mr Hargan to address some words to you. Thank you, Your Excellency. I, Narinda Kumar Hagen, do swear that I will faithfully and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty the Queen Elizabeth II, her heirs and successors according to law. So help me God. I, Narinda Kumar Hagen, do swear that I will well and truly serve Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, her heirs and successors, in the office of the Chief Justice of Bermuda, and will do right to all manner of people after the laws and usages of Bermuda without fear or favour, affection or ill will. So help me God. Congratulations, Chief Justice. Thank you very much. Good morning, everyone. Uh, it's a great honor and privilege uh, to have been sworn in today as the Chief Justice of Bermuda. Uh, I'm grateful for the confidence shown in me by His Excellency the Governor and members of the uh, Judicial and Legal Services Committee. I recognize that the role of uh, Chief Justice entails serious responsibility. Uh, the judicial oath I have just taken requires uh, that I do right to all manner of people in accordance with the laws and usages of Bermuda without fear, favor, affection, or ill will. In taking that judicial oath, I recognize that my primary concern is to apply the law as I find it and to apply the law impartially to all persons who may appear before me. The judicial oath requires me to be independent from all external influences which may affect uh, my impartiality. Uh, and this includes uh, uh, the government of the day. Uh, that is to say that uh, our constitutional arrangements uh, require that the Chief Justice and indeed all the judges of the Supreme Court are independent and separate from the government of the day. The requirement of independent judiciary uh, is not a, a legal technicality, but is a fundamental constitutional uh, 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 arrangement uh, ensuring the, that the constitutional government uh, uh, is based upon the rule of law. The judicial oath requires us to treat the government ju as just as any other party which may come before the court. All the rights which are guaranteed to our citizens in the final analysis depend upon the effectiveness of an existence of an independent judiciary. 
For example, the Bermuda Constitution guarantees all persons residing in Bermuda with certain fundamental rights and freedoms, including the protection of right to life, the protection from slavery and forced labor, protection from arbitrary arrest or detention, protection of freedom of expression, and protection from discrimination on the grounds of race. All these fundamental rights which are enshrined in our Constitution would be empty slogans uh, unless there was an independent judiciary committed uh, to carrying out its duties strictly in accordance with the judicial oath. In my role as the Chief Justice, I will dedicate myself to upholding the judicial oath. I want to take uh, this opportunity to pay tribute to my predecessor, uh, Chief Justice Dr. Ian Cavely, who has set an impressive example not only of hard work, but how the Chief Justice should discharge his uh, responsibilities. The special sitting of the Supreme Court held in, in his honor last Friday showed the genuine affection and deep respect of the Bermuda Bar. The legal profession is sorry uh, that Dr. Cavely is retiring as a Chief Justice. Dr. Cavely has many achievements uh, as uh, our Chief Justice, and I will only mention one. One of his many responsibilities as the Chief Justice was to act as the senior commercial judge of the, uh, of the commercial court. He dealt with all the complex cases emanating from the in international business sector. Without fail, he has justifiably impressed all those who have appeared before him, and he has earned for this jurisdiction a sterling reputation uh, for commercial dispute resolution. Dr. Cavely's presence on the commercial court over the last 15 years has greatly as assisted the development and retention of international business uh, to this island. He deserves our unqualified gratitude for 15 years of exemplary legal service to our country. I also want to acknowledge that the efficient administration of justice is not just the responsibility of the Chief Justice, but is very much a team effort. A team effort of all the judges of the Supreme Court, all the judges of the Magistrates Court, and the uh, supporting staff. The senior magistrate and all the other magistrates uh, in fact, uh, deal with most of the cases in terms of numbers. They deal with hundreds of cases uh, on a, a yearly basis, uh, very effectively and sometimes in difficult circumstances. Same is the case in relation to the judges of the Supreme Court. Uh, I am uh, looking forward to working with them and discussing with them ways in which the administration of the justice could be made more efficient. I return to what I said earlier that it is a privilege and an honor to be appointed Chief Justice of Bermuda. I have worked in Bermuda for nearly 40 years as a lawyer uh, and recognized that despite its small size, Bermuda is a remarkably sophisticated jurisdiction in terms of its local bar and in terms of the demands made on the judicial system. Bermuda is a country of tiny population, but faces all the same or similar issues and challenges as any large, multiracial, multicultural democracy. The judiciary has to be keenly aware of the social and economic setting in which it is operating. In addition, Bermuda is home to a large and diverse and specialized international businesses, and our present policies are aimed at expanding that sector. International business makes its own specialized demand on the judicial system. The position of the Chief Justice in modern Bermuda is a challenging one. By accepting this appointment, I dedicate myself to meet that challenge and to administer justice in accordance with the judicial oath I have just taken. Thank you for coming, and to those who have come from the Judicial Department, I look forward to working with you. Thank you. Please no do join us for a cup of tea or coffee.